Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Light back in another YouTube video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a bit of. Let's just talk quickly about Moon Knight and why it is a TV show and not a movie, or why I think it is. Um. So, anyways, let's get into it. Uh, just recently, actually, I I should have dropped a video before this video is coming out, and I talked a bit about the Moon Knight trailer and everything. So, yeah, definitely go check that out if you want. But in this video, I'm just gonna go. And kind of like explain some reasons why I think Disney chose to make this a TV show instead of a movie. And also uh, and also just the ratings and stuff. In case somebody doesn't understand and just goes like Super Disney, uh, why do they do this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and just a bunch of negativity and just affects the fan base and just kind of bad. Uh, anyways, let's let's get into it. So, I might, like many other people thought Moon Knight would have per worked perfectly well as a movie. I thought it would be, it would have been a dope movie. It would have been awesome. It would have been super cool to see uh, Moon Knight hit the big screen, watching this in theaters, watching him do some cool things and stuff. And it would have been awesome. Uh, then I hear all of a sudden it's, it's being adapted into a Disney Plus series instead. Now... With the let me use the the words of I guess Kevin Feige, he literally said he's like uh, the these uh, these shows are meant to be like six hour movies basically movies they're just being treated as such they're being treated as movies uh, they don't treat them like a season one of something or whatever that's why they'll these are all limited series and not just. Uh, multiple seasons like after one season's done i guess we're getting another season or something like that that's not how they're rolling it's more they're just giving it the movie treatment basically um in terms of the stuff so i mean if you think about it, it it's being treated like a movie so it isn't too bad it's not like it's going oh it's television so it's gonna have a lower budget or which definitely could be the case but i mean it, people are saying like tell it's television it's gonna suck like yeah superheroes are meant to be on the big screen and it could end up like cw show or some stupidness like that uh like from the looks of it man like I, i've seen all over uh sorry all those disney plus shows not not once was I ever like crap this stuff reminds me of the cw i'd say it's, it's pretty bad uh that that never happened all of these these shows as much as if you dislike them like them whatever uh you gotta realize too. Uh, a lot of these things are there, there's a lot of stuff going into the Disney Plus shows, especially like it's being treated like a movie with all these big name actors and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's just a, something important to, of course, note as well. Uh, these are not really like traditional TV shows or anything like that. So, yeah. Uh, continuing with on that topic now why did why do i think moon knight specifically moon knight got a disney plus show instead of a movie when a lot of people seem to be around going around moon knight and stuff like that and i got one word uh one thing in particular to say is not a lot of people knew it sure people now are like oh moon knight yeah yeah moon knight's great yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's awesome that's awesome but around probably when they were uh, originally deciding this it was probably my guess, 2017, something like that. Moon Knight was not nearly as po like popular. Like barely anybody knew him. I mean, the people that knew him, uh, they knew a lot. They, like it, it was very rare you would see somebody like full on being like Moon Knight's my favorite character or something like that. You would rarely see that. It's just most likely like people know who he is and everything. And really in the comics too, like Moon Knight's not very big. Like he. he Yes, he's in different groups like the Midnight Suns, which are pretty popular. And also, he's like joined the Avenger, the Avengers on on certain occasions, and he's in some of the events. But I mean, Moon Knight. I hate to break it to people, but he's like a B list character. Honestly, he's not. He's not anything like really headlining big. But eventually, I I think that's all gonna change. Honestly, uh, just because a lot of people are now getting to know the character, see how cool he is. He's he's pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh. I thought he was pretty cool uh, when I originally saw him and everything. And two, especially with his comics, his comics all, all haven't always been the greatest. I've read, I would say, 75% of all of his comics. 
I haven't I just haven't read the the uh, latest ones yet and some of the really old ones I haven't read or early 2000s 90s ones I never really read and some of the crossover events I haven't really read with him but I've read most of his comics and I gotta say like some of his comics are pretty bad like I, I can't even lie Moon Knight's a very complicated character to write especially since he's like less known they're they're gonna be putting not the best writers at work with him but I mean he does have good stuff and everything, but I mean, some of the comics are kind of bad, and that that influences probably the fandom's decision on it too, of why he was so less no lesser known. Because maybe somebody has just read that comic the first time, and just quit on the character, which I recommend honestly never doing. Like I I recommend this like ten out of ten times. Like there's been plenty of characters, me personally, like where I've read the first comic and I was just like, damn, that was trash. But I decided, ah, oh, why not give it another try and read another comic. And then it's just like, yeah, this this character is pretty cool. After, after all that, just like literally, just the comic I read. So yeah, they're like Moon Knight's a perfect example of that. Like a, 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 I'd say out of his entire, just existence in comics, I would say like twenty five percent of his comics are pretty bad, out of like a hundred percent. Yeah. But I mean, he does have some special and cool runs and stuff like that. Cool concepts. Cool. Uh, he has he has cool villains too. I mean, his villains aren't too bad. Him himself is pretty cool and interesting. Uh, yeah. So that's like the big reason into why I guess they're putting him in a Disney Plus show. That's that's my entire guess. And I guess maybe they thought maybe perhaps like he might not do too well on the big screen or something because not a lot of people know who that is or something like that. Or honestly, they just plain and simple just wanted. Just wanted content for or Disney Plus or something. I'm not entirely sure, really. Uh, really, right now, I'm not entirely sure with it. But if I were to get take a guess, it's it's most probably because of just uh, with the whole being kind of unknown part of things and everything like that. So yeah. Now let's go into his rating. So if you've ever picked up a Moon Knight comic before, you would know. I don't think he, he he was basically never meant for children like this he's one of the darkest characters in Marvel comics. I mean if you think of dark characters in Marvel comics that are anti-heroes and superheroes you would think of like easily like him probably Punisher uh yeah and you that like those are the two big ones like Moon Knight is just strictly not really for children in, in a sense like it, it should never he should never be like super good in so in the sense that like little children should be watching him and stuff like that. That that's not good. Like it, it, Moon Knight is purely kind of like more of an adult kind of kind of character. I mean, the, I would say like he's a really very much so like a fourteen plus character. I would say uh, in terms of like age rating, and not a lot of people understand this too. A lot of people just think, oh, he's whatever. But one thing also to really note as well is Moon Knight's very, again, very violent. Uh, just based off his character and stuff, like he loses control easily. That causes him to go super violent. Uh, I guess with his crossovers, he's alright. Like I, I remember reading some of the crossovers. He wasn't even, he, he wasn't too bad in terms of like violence and stuff like that. I guess when he's with the other superheroes, he's fine. But I mean, like something like this. I'm not gonna say it should be rated R, but it should it should be dark. I mean, like Moon Knight's not very light like, character. He he's gonna need to be like pretty dark. Uh, yeah, I mean, like yeah, again, he's he's meant to be like very dark. I'm surprised they never made a Netflix adapt adaptation, honestly, with those dark humor, those dark uh, settings and stuff. That it would have worked really well on that, but I guess rights and stuff. So I'm not sure about that. Uh. But then again, yeah, it needs to be dark. Now, that being said, a lot of people don't like the fact that it's on Disney+. Plus. And with Disney+, Plus, they don't put anything like R-rated or anything like that like on the platform, at least in the United States. I know in other countries, it's like Star and stuff like that. Uh, they would put like rated R stuff and whatnot. But like for the most part, Disney+, Plus tries to keep their all the MCU content and stuff like that under PG-13, PG-13 and under. Uh, so that being said, like, I'm guessing Moon Knight's gonna probably be PG-13, 
or TV 14 or whatever whatever it's called like it's not going to be rated R. I don't think it's going to be a hard R. Uh but then again like he's a very rated R character, but again, it doesn't it doesn't extremely well like spoil the character. It does like kind of take away from the character a bit, but I mean, you could still do it in a PG-13 setting. You just don't show a lot of it like for example that, that was a good example in the trailer when he's beating up that guy it's pretty obvious what he's doing he's literally just beating the hell out of that guy he's, he's his fist must be bloody and everything like that that guy was getting beat to a bloody pulp we already knew that but see that scene would be technically read pg-13 because it's not showing anything that's how i want them to kind of approach this and i mean that's how i want it to stay dark like that where, I mean, obviously you don't need to see, like, him using a Moonstar and cutting some guy's heart out or something like that. And showing it. Like, that. that's way... I'm not going to say it's way too far, because it's probably happened once. But, I mean, uh, like, in a Disney Plus show, that doesn't need to be really happening. Like, him, like, doing stuff like that. Like, I'm fully well expecting some root violence from this. But, I mean, it doesn't completely... Root, it doesn't, like, destroy the character if it's PG-13. It's not a huge issue, honestly. Uh, the more you could think about it and everything. Uh, but yeah, pretty much, that, that's pretty much it for this video. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.